Today on this video, we're going to uncover the making of the man that has changed not just the nightlife landscape in Nigeria, but more so, a business tycoon in its true meaning, Obi Kubana. Before the burial of Obi Kubana's mother is in Ne Uche Yebu in July 2021, with many later tagged the reign of money. The name Obi Kubana didn't ring a bell to the ears of many. So what changed, you may ask? Was the burial of his mother a launching pad for his unprecedented popularity? Or was it the media frenzy that publicized his show of wealth? How was it even possible to have gained about 500 livestock from friends and associates during his mother's burial? Let's find out together. Obina Yegu, popularly known as Obi Kobana, is a Nigerian businessman, entertainer, entrepreneur, and philanthropist, and of course, as you may have already known, is the chairman of Kubana Groups. He has over the years shown tenacity and strength of will in building his career and providing jobs for thousands of Nigerian youth for more than a decade now. To the mem onlooker, the name Obi Kubana is just a myth promoted by social media buzz and rich circle of friends. But in reality, the name Obi Kubana tells a story of a dreamer who dreams with his eyes open and focused on the vision before him. Like every other Nigerian, the Anambra-born billionaire didn't just stumble on wealth, rather, he chose to create his wealth by turning ideas into realities and inventing new and fashionable ways to solve needs of the people as well as creating exceptional path in the hospitality business. Let's go back in time for a while. In 2006, Obi Kubana saw a vacuum and decided to fill it. So, in order to satisfy fun seekers and nightlife lovers, the king of nightlife established his first club, which is today known as a Biza Club in Abuja. He did not rest on his oars. With the remarkable success of a Biza Club, he was motivated to aim higher. And so in 2009, he established the Kobana Group, a hospitality club that provides all-round entertainment satisfaction. Now that sounds like a walk in the park, but was it really a walk in the park? Or was it an adventure mixed with tales of fear, uncertainty and hope? An answer to that would take us back to the Genesis in the year 1999 before it all started. It is understandable that you would like to know what exactly happened in the year 1999. But wouldn't it be more interesting to know even more about the Nigerian socialites? The 47-year-old club owner was born on the 12th of April, 1975, in Oba, Anambra State, Nigeria. He attended Central School Oba, after which he proceeded to Dennis Memorial Grammar School, DMGS, Onicha. Upon completion of his secondary education, Obi Kubana continued to University of Nigeria in Suka, where he graduated as a political scientist. Did that surprise you? Oh yes, I'll talk about taking your destiny in your own hands. Now that we're talking about destiny, perhaps it is safe to add that we all somehow architect of our destinies. Like every other Nigerian youth, Obi Kubana finished his National Youth Service in Abuja in the year 1999, but sadly for him, there was no job. So after a few years of job hunting as a young, enthusiastic Nigerian full of zest to achieve his dreams, he did not allow the unemployment in the country to keep him down, so he decided to create a job for himself, and that was one single defining step towards the journey of a thousand miles. To keep body and soul together, Obi Kubana opened a food canteen probably known as Mama Poots. It was just a matter of time the food canteen metamorphosed into a beer parlor. But just before he could celebrate that achievement, the garden was demolished by the Ministry of Environment, Federal Capital Territory. Undeterred, like a broken shell, he refused to give in to self-pity. Rather, he picked up his pieces and established Ibiza Restaurant and then came Kubana Club. The demolition of the structures at the garden returned Obina Iyebu to ground zero, but he refused to remain at ground zero. He weighed his opinions and made his choices, and like the saying goes, the good had to give way for the better or even the best. So, the nightlife giant picked up the pieces of what were left, went back to the drawing board, conceived bigger ideas of business, and gave birth to Ibiza restaurants. Gradually, just like drops of water that made a mighty ocean, 
Obi Kubana has today become a household name and the Kubana Group that was first established in Oweri, Imo State has today spread into major cities of the country like Lagos, Abuja and Enugu. But how did it happen? How did he rise from a job seeker with a demolished kitchen beer parlor to become an employer? You want to know more? Draw closer because you're about to find out how Obi Kubana made his first one million naira. At the initial stage, like every other business-minded individual, Obi Kubana had tried several other business ventures, some of which worked and some of which didn't exactly work out and some totally went south. But in the face of it all, he continued to work hard as his dreams of perfecting his skills and honing and refining his business ideas. As unbelievable as it may sound, the reality of things is that within this period, the showbiz boss together with six other group of friends were sharing one single room. They would put the bed on the floor and sleep and in the morning, everybody went about his business and hustle continued. Mind you. It was during this time that property, a state agency business, was burdened in Abuja. So, Obi would sell landed property and get his own share of 5% commission from every sale he made. It was one fateful day that he met a client that would change the story of his life. After he was contacted by the client to help him furnish the house, the client was so amazed by the quality of service rendered that he decided to dash Kubana extra 500,000 naira. Now, you add that 500,000 naira gift and a 600,000 naira profit and do the maths. As if luck was never done with him, shortly after, he landed another contract with Petroleum Product Marketing Company, PPMC, from where he made some more profit and bought a Mercedes v boots. Since then, Obi Kobana has been able to build a business empire whose magnitude and capacity is almost unmatched. Starting from Ibiza Restaurant Abuja, to Crave Kubana Abuja, to Opium Kubana Oweri, to Kubana Rhapsody Lagos, to Gustavo Kubana Inugu, to Hustle and Bustle Abuja, to Grand Kubana Hotels Abuja, and more recently in March 2022, he added yet another brand of his business like Odogo Beaters. Odogo Beaters is currently Nigeria's leading herbal alcoholic drink. Within a year of its launch into the Nigerian market, Odogo Beaters is now making waves around the world and making steady inroads into the international liquor markets. Sweetened with pearl honey and spice with organically grown ginger. Aside from all these multi millionaire investments, Obi Kabana also flows different brands consumed by millions of Nigerians who identify with and believe in its ideas. One of such is the Kubana Fast Moving Consumer Goods CFMCG, a firm into foods, gadgets, and cosmetics. To expand these ever growing frontiers, particularly in the real estate industry, the business Mongol is currently building Kubana Dubai and Kubana Real Estate. This is expected to replicate what he has here in Nigeria in the United Arab Emirates. This type of feat, no doubt, is a clear demonstration of Obi Kubana's unbeatable strength of ideas, sense of quality and entrepreneurial acumen in hospitality entertainment industry. With an estimated net worth of over $96 million, the business Mongolia is showing no sign of relenting as is daily committed to helping people through his numerous philanthropic gestures, especially towards the younger generation. He remains the undisputable grandmaster of showbiz in Nigeria and is still thriving on in exploring new opportunities, not just to create wealth, but to also make this society a better place by creating employment for a multitude of youths and assisting young entrepreneurs, an act that has ended him in the hearts of many. Driven by his desire to give back to society, Obi Kubana created the Kiek Foundation, a non-governmental organization established to improve the lives of the less privileged children in society through the provision of quality education, health care, nutrition, among others. One of those that benefited from Obi Kubana's goodwill is Emeka Jeremiah, a young hawker who went viral for giving money to inmates in the Nigerian Correctional Service Bus in Aja, Lagos State. Obi Kubana offered to sponsor Jeremiah up to master's level in any university of his choice across the globe and provide him automatic employment in any of his organization upon the completion of his education. 
On the flip side, Obikabana is a socialite who believes that socializing and holidaying are essential ingredients to having a fulfilling life. This accounts for its frequent outdoor activities, which include partying and vacationing with loved ones across the globe. And the icing on the cake is clubs across the country are worth over $2 billion. Maybe it would be nice to end this episode with this motto, The world is yours, only if you can take it. Thank you for watching.